Welcome to Jackson Street United Methodist Church in downtown Lynchburg, Virginia. The doors of the church are open physically and virtually. Please come fellowship with us at 901 Jackson Street and hear what thus says the Lord. For your convenience, we are pleased to announce that you can donate, contribute, and tithe online through the Givelify app. Come, now is the time to worship. Come just as you are. Today is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Good morning. My name is Pastor Chandler. I'm so glad that you're taking this time this morning to be with us in worship. This is virtual worship. Yes, it is. But it is worship just the same. And for those of you who are joining us uh, by way of YouTube, uh, understand that this is a, 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 an open line. You can talk with us. Uh, drop your comments. Say hallelujah, wave, say amen. Uh, let us interact as if we were, were in the sanctuary, which I believe that time is coming close and almost here. But until then, let us worship here together in this place that God has provided for us to worship in. Will you pray with me? Father God, we thank you for this opportunity. We thank you for this space, this place for technology. We thank you, Lord God, that you are almighty, all-knowing, all-seeing, that you're kind and you're merciful and you love us. You love us so much that you gave us your son, Jesus Christ, to pay the price that we could not pay for ourselves that we might be in covenant relationship with you, O oh God. Thank you for the covenant. Thank you for the guidelines. Thank you for the Torah. Thank you for the commandments, Lord God. Thank you for the instructions. Now give us strength, Lord God, and let your spirit reign fresh on us in this worship experience, that we will hear your voice, and we will know beyond a shadow of a doubt that it is you that is speaking to our heart because you're speaking life and not death. You're speaking healing and not sickness. You're speaking walking and not being crippled. God, help us now to open our hearts and allow you to come in and change our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. This morning, you know, we're going to continue our conversation uh, under the topic of helping, healing, and hospitality. We, 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 we've gone through the helping part of, 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 of understanding that, that as a church, uh, as a body of Christ, as disciples, that, 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 that we have to take risk. Uh, the, mi the ministry, that the missions that we go on are at risk missions uh, by virtue of who we are in Christ Jesus because we've been transformed and changed in the way we see life the way we see our communities, the, the, the way we see our relationship with God, and, 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 and more importantly, the way we see ourselves. Through the helping process, uh, we understand that, that, that when we study together, that, that there's, there's, there's parts of God's attitude and approach to ministry that's engrafted onto us or, uh, because our spirit is, is becoming mature and more confident in who we are in Christ Jesus, that, that, that we begin to look like him and talk like him and walk like him and move about our, our purpose that God has placed in our lives. We understand what timing means and what it, what, what it means to have the right attitude and, and what it means to be in the right place at the right time with the right attitude. Uh, we've walked through this, the, the helping into the healing and understanding that, 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 that healing takes time. Uh, even though we look good on the surface and, 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 and it may not appear like, like we're wrestling or struggling with anything, but, but we know that beneath the surface that, that, that we still need time to heal because it takes time. Uh, uh, God has given us the spirit and, and, and the spirit act, acts as some, some form of novocaine that, that, that kills the pain of the things that would hinder us from hearing from God that mm, 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 numbs the, 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 the sickness or the, the crippling uh, uh, state of mind that we might be in that would keep us from, from pursuing God's call. Uh, hallelujah. But we know that in a matter of time, though, because of the Spirit of God, that we will overcome whatever obstacles 
obstacles that are in our way. Because of the Spirit of God, in a matter of time, we will come to a place where, where we have confidence in who God says that we are and who he called us to be. And, and, and in a matter of time, we, we will have a clear vision of what it is God has called us to be, the church. He has called us to be the rock or, or to be upon a rock where the gates of hell shall not prevail against it in a matter of time. Mm. Hallelujah. The world will begin to understand that there is a God and he's alive. He is not dead. And so with that said, uh, uh, we have come to a, a part of, of the series that, 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 I don't know, we may stay here for a little while because, because it really begins to address the core of who we are. It, it really uh, begins to address the challenges that we face from day to day and how it is that, that we're able to overcome the challenges, how, how it is that, that we're able to even use the challenges to our advantage. Hmm. The way the enemy thinks that, 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 that we might be failing or, or we might not make it. There, 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 there's this part of, of us uh, that, that, that abides in Christ. There's a part of us that, that, that is, is fueled by the Spirit of God that says that, that, that there's possibility. There's always possibility. And so, so let's focus on, on that word, uh, 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 possibility. What does that mean? What does that say when we hear that word? Uh, 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 how do we feel as a church when, 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 when God has said that, that we are supposed to be the, the representation of possibility? That, that when people come to us, hallelujah somebody, broken down and distressed, and when people come to us looking for answers to questions that's bothering them about life, about their life, about uh, identity, about, about relationship, then, then the church should be like this field popping with possibilities uh, because we're supposed to have answers, we, be, because we, we have testimony, because, because they, they should understand that in the congregation there is somebody that looks like them, somebody who's been through some of the same things that they've been through in life. And, and, and so when they meet us, though, the, the, they've already been beaten down by the world. They, they've already been told by the world that they're not going to have this or they can't be that or, or, or they're too short or they're too tall or, or, or they're too big or, or they're too small. And so, but when they come into the house of God, there, 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 there should be this, 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 this atmosphere of possibility. There should be this fume in the air. There should be like a fog in the place that says that all things are possible to those who believe. You see, believing is the core of possibility. Uh, you know, there's a, there's a movie, there's a very popular movie out, uh, uh, and, and, and the character, main character in the movie, is, is, his name is, is Ethan Hunt. Hallelujah, somebody. And, and so I, I know you probably already know what the name of the movie is. So the movie is, is called Mission Impossible. Huh. My Lord, have mercy. <laughs> because uh, 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 the, 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 the demographics and the logistics of, of the mission that, that has been given to Ethan Hunt, hallelujah, is, is so drastic and, and so extreme, hallelujah, that, that, that even in the, in the instructions that he receives, uh, there's this statement that says, if you are to take this mission, hallelujah, somebody, or you need to understand that it's a mission impossible. Uh, we already know where we're sending you. We, we already know the trouble that you're going to encounter. We, we, we already know the challenges that you're going to face. And, and, and it's going to be extremely, uh, 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 it's extremely important that you understand that giving you this mission it, to the world is considered impossible. To those that you're going to come against, it's, it appears to be impossible. To, to those that you encounter, hallelujah, even those that are following you will have a mindset that this mission is impossible. But, but I came to tell you today, hallelujah, somebody, that, 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 that when you read the Bible, when, when, when you understand the Torah, when, when you really embrace the covenant of, uh, agreement that you have with God uh, or the covenant instructions that come from God, uh, 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 the Bible will never say that it's impossible. Uh, uh, hallelujah, somebody. Even though the components and the ingredients and the stories that we hear sounds like what God is trying to accomplish or what God has set out to accomplish uh, is impossible. But, but, but then you see something else moving. Then, 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 then you sense there's a, there's a presence of something else in the room, even in the story that says, wait a minute. 
Wait, 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 wait. I, I think I hear possibility, God. Wait a minute, I think I'm sensing that, that, that this is possible. And, and what that is, hallelujah, somebody, for those of you who may be lost right now, come on, come on, catch up, catch up, catch up. Uh, uh, what that is, though, is, 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 is there's, there's a birth that takes place, and, and, and the birth is faith. Uh, uh, what, what's not happening in the midst of whatever's going on or whatever situation or whatever assignment that you have uh, of faith sticks his head out. Hallelujah, somebody. Because, you know, faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. So, so, so in your assignment, uh, in the thing that God has called you to do, it may not yet appear. Hallelujah, somebody. But the Bible teaches us that, that we have to start speaking to those things as, as if they already are. Uh, this is faith that I'm talking about. And, and faith is, is one of the main ingredients in the word possibility. Possibility, yeah, yeah, possibility is endless mm -hmm. when, 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 when it's the right time. <laughs> hallelujah, somebody. P possibility is, 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 hallelujah, somebody, is endless when it's the right time and the right time meets the right place and, and, and the right place uh, is filled with the right attitude. Hallelujah, somebody. I I'm talking about possibility. <laughs> possibility, uh, 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 it, 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 it with the right attitude, uh, 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 governed by the right spirit. <laughs> Hallelujah, somebody. Because then we have uh, the right uh, uh, person making the right choices. Hallelujah, somebody. Uh, uh, leading to the right destination. Of uh, uh, being that the destiny that, that we have been created to arrive at and to accomplish now happens because of possibilities. I'm not saying that the scene or the traveling or the road that we're on is going to be perfect or without bumps or without a, a, a distractions, without a, a tax, but, 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 uh, but letting you know that, that, that as long as you believe, hallelujah somebody, all things are possible. Oh, glory to God. You don't believe me. Uh, there's a story in the Old Testament, uh, hallelujah, by, uh, by a man uh, who rumor has it was a drunk, hallelujah, somebody. Uh, he, 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 he drank every day. As a matter of fact, he drank until he passed out and, and, and his children would have to come in and, and cover him because he is passed out from drinking. Uh, but, but then uh, God spoke into his life. Uh, then uh, God called him for an assignment. Then he responded to God's call uh, and he accepted the impossible mission. Well, well, why was it impossible, preacher? Well, it was impossible because the mission uh, 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 was was pre-received by a message that said, I'm going to destroy the world uh, uh, in 40 days, uh, 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 in 50 days, in 40 years, I'm going to flood the world. Hallelujah. And, and so the mission given to Noah was to build an ark. Hallelujah, somebody. Now, how many times have you seen uh, a man build a boat uh, hundreds or thousands of miles away from water? Hallelujah, somebody. So in this mission that Noah was giving, uh, the community was saying that he had lost his mind. The community he said that he's drunk and he's crazy. Even his family had doubts, hallelujah. But Noah never stopped moving. Uh, he never stopped building. Uh, he always moved towards the mission that God has given him. And that's one thing I noticed about even the movie with Ethan Hunt. Uh, 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 every time things got crazy, he would always say, uh, 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 we're going to make it. He would always say, it's going to be all right. Uh, he would always say, we can accomplish this. And, and even in the moments when they ask him, how do you know? He, he would answer them with, 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 with confidence. I don't know. Hallelujah, somebody. I don't know how it's going to work out. I, I don't know when it's going to end. I, I don't even know if we're going to make it. But I believe, hallelujah, somebody, I have faith. Uh, uh, something inside of me won't let me give up. Uh, something inside of me won't let me turn around, even in spite of myself. Hallelujah. I believe it's possible. Uh, I don't have all the answers. Uh, Noah didn't have all the answers. Uh, Moses didn't have all the answers. Hallelujah. Jeremiah didn't have, Ezekiel didn't have all the answers. 
Hallelujah. But the beautiful thing about it is they was with somebody who did. Uh, they had a power behind them who had the answers. Not only did they have the answers, but they had the source of power that was needed to accomplish the mission. Hallelujah, church. Oh, we got to remember the position that we are in. Uh, we we, we got to be authoritative like Jesus was. And I don't mean in telling people what to do, but, but when you speak about the goodness of Jesus, when you speak about the power of God, you have to do it with authority. You have to do it with confidence. You have to do it with the voice of possibility. Hallelujah. The Bible declares to us that where there's life, there's hope. Hallelujah, somebody. And as long as there's life in your body, there's hope. As long as there's hope, there's possibilities. Uh, hallelujah, somebody. Somebody said you weren't going to make it. Uh, you need to tell them that they are liar. Hallelujah, somebody. You need to tell them, oh, yes, I am going to make it. Uh, some people say you don't have what it takes. Uh, you need to look them in the face and say, I don't think you know who I am. I don't think you know who I know. Hallelujah, somebody. You need to know that I'm a child of the king. Uh, I know it looks peculiar. I know I'm strange. Uh, but you need to understand that there are many possibilities great possibilities that I will accomplish the mission God has given me that I will be the person God created me to be hallelujah somebody I will reach the person that God has chosen for me to reach for the kingdom of God that is what the church is the, the church is this bright light in the community the light of possibility for those who are struggling in their education, for those who are struggling in their finance, for those who are struggling in their relationship, for those who are struggling, hallelujah, somebody, in the workforce. They should be able to come to the house of God and, and get a message that says, possibility, come to those who believe. Those who believe on Christ Jesus, all things are possible. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and, and all his righteousness and, and then all things will be added unto you. The, the biblical message is a message of possibility. The, the, the biblical message is, is a message that says no weapon that formed against me shall prosper. Uh, it, it makes room for possibilities. Uh, and there's a message in the Bible that says that even if my enemy come against me and surround me all sides, hallelujah, the Bible says that they will not come nigh to me, but they will stumble and fall. The Bible lends itself to possibilities. It is not ignorant to the reality that the enemy is going to come against us. It's not ignorant to the, the possibility that in our minds we might not have the confidence that we need at the time. But, but at the right time, in the right place, hallelujah, oh, could God from Zion, the possibilities are endless. Hmm. Maybe you need to reposition yourself. Maybe you need to check the company that you're keeping up. Maybe you mean, mm, you might even need to check the church that you're attending. Hallelujah, somebody. Oh, glory to God. Uh, because this should be a house of possibilities. Uh, uh, when people come in, they, they should be able to sing and dance to the songs of possibility. They, they should be sh shouting and running around to the message of possibilities. Uh, because the leader is saying, come on, we can make it. Uh, come on, we can take it. Uh, come on, God is calling us. Come on, God is for us. Uh, and if God be for us, then who can be? We should be shouting every day because of the possibilities that we have in God, the possibilities that we have in the kingdom, uh, the possibilities that we have even in the land of the living. The Bible says if you faint not or you'll see the righteousness of God, you will see the salvation of the Lord. Uh, you will see the delivering power, the healing power of God, even in the land of the living. Hallelujah. See, once you understand time and time, it leads to this place of possibilities. Oh, glory to God. The woman with the issue of blood, she knew it was the right time. And you couldn't tell her that it was impossible for you to be healed. Uh, many people will look at how long you've been in the situation and circumstance that you might be in now. 
Hallelujah. And they might say to you, I don't know what you're going to church for. You need to look them in the face and tell them because that possibilities are at the church. Hallelujah, somebody. I, I can find possibilities in the house of God, in his sanctuary. Oh, glory to God. In his sanctuary is where I find peace, where I can find hope, where I can find love, where there's endless possibilities. Oh, glory to God. I don't know about you, but I'm glad he spoke to me or oh, in my land of impossible. He, he called me out like he did the children of Israel. He walked me through the wilderness. He fed me day and night, and, and he reminded me of the promises. As long as I stand on the covenant, as long as I keep his commandments, he says the promised land shall be yours. I have already purposed in your life greatness. I have already purposed in your life dominion. I've already purposed in your life fruitfulness and prosperity because I know the plans I have for you. But, but unless you have hope, unless you have faith, unless you believe and embrace everything that I've said unto you, everything that I have poured into you, everything that I have laid out before you, hallelujah, son, what is that thing you have in your hand? Lift it up, I declare, to your problems. Lift it up to the difficulty. Lift it up to the obstacles. And watch and see if it don't get out the way, hallelujah. Just because you believe, just because like Ethan Hunt, you would not give up even in the face of impossibility. God is speaking in your spirit and saying to you, it is possible. Hallelujah. You're going to have everything I said you can have. You're going to have everything I promised you're going to have. You can have it. It's yours. Go get it. Stop listening to those doubters and those haters. Stop listening to the ones who don't have the faith, <laughs> that have lost their confidence, uh, don't have no oil in their lamps. Hallelujah, somebody have forgotten to pray, uh, have turned their back on God. Don't you worry about them. You just keep pace with God. You just keep moving towards that place God is calling you to. We don't serve an impossible God. We serve a possible God. We serve a God of possibilities. Oh, yes, it is. It may not look like it now. <laughs> Hallelujah, somebody. Mm. But you hold fast. You wait upon the Lord. Watch and see, don't he renew your strength. <laughs> Just wait on the Lord. Hallelujah, somebody. Trust and believe. I declare unto you that the Bible is the truth. It does not lie. And it's filled with stories of those who faced impossibilities with the attitude, come on somebody, with the right mindset, with the right spirit that kept urging them to move forward, pushing them on, saying it is possible, it is possible, it is possible. Hmm. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be unto God.